because I really want y'all to know like that I'm excited to be here and I'm excited that you're here. I'm excited for all of us today. <laughs> Marine and I am back with another video welcome okay so on this week's video if you haven't already seen from the title this is just a normal chit chat get ready with me I'm going to the pool okay and I want to look cute I may not be going anywhere special 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 right now but I just want to get in the habit of looking cute and I felt like I should chit chat with my girls while I get ready okay so without further ado let's get started so as stated before um I am getting ready to go to the pool and I am basically trying to get in the habit of just getting cute you know like I'm a cute girl I'm one of the girls so I just feel like I need to be consistent with that speaking of consistency I'm in a season of give me just a second I'm in a season of consistency. Um, continuously practicing healthy habits, continuously enforcing boundaries, um, continuously putting myself first and putting my needs above everyone and everything else. Hear me out. It is very necessary, y'all. It's extremely necessary because otherwise you'll end up feeling drained. You'll end up feeling like blah. And like literally the whole year will pass by and everything that you had set out for yourself, everything that you wanted to do, you'll literally look up and say, wow, I had all these plans and nothing happened. So I just learned to just start saying no. Now, it wasn't easy, but this is where we landed. So I'm grateful for that. Now, as far as recently, my life updates that's been going on. A lot's been going on, okay? A lot going on with family but I try to stay as objective as possible just so I'm not absorbing any of the I don't want to say drama because everybody's drama everybody's mom's got drama everybody's family's got some kind of drama however that don't mean that I have to absorb it or be a part of it I do want to hear about it from my far though uh, with that being said yeah, there's been a lot going on on that end. Don't worry guys, everybody's fine, everybody's great, everybody's having fun, everyone's, you know, everyone's still good, but it's just been a lot going on with that. Um, we traveled a lot recently, as you guys can see from my travel vlogs. However, I've been getting that itch to travel again, and I have just been like sitting over here shaking like a stripper, because I want to jump on the next flight but that's not healthy. Remember we talked about doing healthy boundaries? Yeah, girl, that's not healthy, okay? We have to practice planning things. Um, now, I'm very great at planning things. However, I do what I want when I want how I want, okay? I only got one baby, which is basically like having no kids. So when I feel like it and I just want to hop skip on a flight somewhere, I literally be looking at my bank and my bank be looking at me and we see each other. So basically I've been having the practice saying, girl, no, I see what you're doing. I'm not doing it. I will spend money because money loves me and money knows that I'm going to spend it because that's what it's for. However, you do also want to make sure that you're handling your responsibilities primarily and that you're making sure you're having forward movement in the right directions. So basically not running on a hamster wheel doing the same things over and over again, but you're not moving forward. I'm grateful for the vacations that I've been able to take. However, we're going to be sitting at home and we're going to be making sure that we tidy up our 
our living space. Um, create more organization. Prepare for the holidays. Um, which we will be traveling for the holidays. So traveling right now just is not feasible mentally, emotionally, financially, and physically. It's just not feasible. And the smartest thing for me to do would just be to wait. Now, I'm so excited to tell you guys my couch and I have a new bed coming, a new rug, I will be building it all. Um, however, I'm just excited. Why? Because recently I've noticed in the midst of me having one of my mini meltdowns that <laughs> life is constantly changing and shifting in my favor. It's a little hard for me to see it up front. However, once you kind of stare at it from an aerial view and you take a step back and you look at the full picture and you see how everything has shifted in just a year, you're able to see where really God has brought you from and kind of sort of be able to make out where he's sending you. So basically all of my dreams are coming true, but they're coming true in a way that God wants to give it to me. Um, I've been really consistent with posting. I will say here and there, I've had a lot of technical issues. However, I'm still grateful for the journey because I've learned much more in one year than I've learned in the three previous years where I had given, I want to say minimal effort to my content creation journey. And I didn't really believe in myself the way that I needed to. But now that I'm here, oh baby, we ain't going nowhere. We ain't going nowhere we're in here okay i have 16 subscribers i go nowhere okay that's 16 people that like to hear me talk and even if there were zero subscribers i'd still post i'd still post like i'm oprah you get a car you get a car you get a car vroom vroom okay uh, <laughs> so i'm grateful for that because i feel like i don't know somewhere mentally prior to starting this journey, and we're just gonna wait for these eyebrows to set. I guess mentally I thought that the subscribers had to come before the opening up of my personality. Um, and I will say, there's been a few times where I've just been a little too shy and a little too, which is crazy, because I'm a Leo. So shyness doesn't go hand in hand with Leo. Like I just don't. So to see myself be shy, I still said, screw it. Let's put the content out. Let's just put it out. Let's see how it lands. And it landed. But that's the shy version of myself. And I took a moment to shift my perspective. And I thought to myself, God has really given me everything that I want. The universe is working in my favor. Everything is working amazingly for me. Could it be better? Yes. Is there room for improvement? Always. You should always be expecting to be improving in some area of your life. However, if this is the amount of engagement that I get off of being shy, imagine what kind of engagement I can get from actually being myself and literally just opening up and allowing my Leo freak flag to fly. Okay. <laughs> so recently, I've been swamped in Amazon content and YouTube content, TikTok content, and just all the platforms. They've been sucking me in and I'm appreciative even though I'm exhausted. I am extremely appreciative of it. Why? Because there were days where I prayed for, I used to pray for times like this, the wrong like this. You hear me? I used to pray that the day would come where I felt good enough to consistently post every single week and do my vlogs. Now I will say, I don't feel like it. I don't. I really don't feel like it. However, that, that, that's not gonna stop me because I know there will come a time where I'll literally leap for joy out of bed every single day to film. I know what that sounds like. However, I will get there. I'm gonna have the content creator journey. I'm gonna have the full entrepreneurship journey. Just like everything that I've ever dreamed, for, dreamed of, I can see it now coming to life. 
and it's taken its time. Like the seeds are there, the little leaves have sprouted, and now we just need it to grow into some large, healthy trees, okay? Okay. Time already. Time already. <laughs> I have fully leaned into my content creation career. That's one of the things that's been going on lately. Um, I'm dating. I will make another video about that later on, but let's just say things have been going successfully. Not in the way that y'all think though. Um, I'm learning a lot. <laughs> about myself through dating things that i didn't think that i would learn until i was like in my 40s and like married and i'm like talking to the young girls and i'm like this is what you need to expect out of yourself in order to get this kind of man um in order to be this kind of woman but now that i'm here i'm like take my time I'm just, I'm just gonna take my time really quickly I line up my brows with this wet n wild color icon coal eyeliner in the shade pretty in pink which is crazy how fitting for the moment I'm a party girl in a party world anyways um stop that yeah so I've learned a lot about myself in dating and I also I want to say the broad perspective that I want to pretty much touch on is don't wait don't wait you don't need to wait to be married to travel you don't need to wait to be married to buy a house you don't need to be you don't need to wait to uh, be married to find your tribe you don't and I know this stuff sounds like girl duh but you'd be surprised by how many people genuinely are like oh no all that stuff will come like I was definitely one of those girls that just assumed that like my husband would be like the total package and he would come with the tribe he would come with the money for everything and I just had the lady to be a pretty princess and I still believe that um now as far as the tribe thing I'm not certain if I fully believe just that but I do expect him to come with his own little tribe and then we mesh our tribes together into one tribe um I'm also approaching dating differently I'm spending a lot less time online um like i'm not like an online dater i stopped that in like 2019 because it just was getting so weird and it was just like like eventually you just you're girl good luck if you're still online dating kudos to you that's <laughs> so like cool could you for a chick like you however i am not mm -mm no thanks no thank you no thanks i do believe that you can meet the love of your life online for some people just not me just not me i am an old school kind of girl a traditional kind of girl and i think it's because i started online dating very early um like when i was like 18 i, I started online dating just because i am from a very small town and i kind of got tired of i'm from a small state period so you see the same people all the time and it's like oh like i don't want it like like no and then you date someone who's dated like eight people that you know <laughs> and then like a couple of them like in their mind they think that you're they're like your arch nemesis it's just very weird being from a small place and there's not a lot of options. So when I finally got out in the world, I was excited. I was like, yes, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna finally have options. Girl, no. It's basically like your small town times a thousand percent. You just they just get weirder. They just get weirder. They just get they just they they and then they double down on the weird. So it's not really for me right now um like i said i'm taking my time you know i am taking 
my time i think for so long of my 20s i was rushing until i started to realize that i was on someone else's timeline i was trying to live my life in the same format of the girls that i grew up with where like the, the traditional graduate high school go to college meet the love of your life somewhere in between college like junior sophomore year junior year and senior year date for two years sometimes a year and a half get engaged get married have kids that was that's a timeline that just does not it's not feasible for my life it's not feasible for who i am as a person i'm learning that i am a very 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 demanding person when it comes to what i want and not only do i demand it i command it so i if it's not working out for me i'm literally going to lose it and then not lose it but i'm tossing it aside into the away bin and then i'm gonna go this way seeing myself in real time dating i'm realizing that I'm, i had so much trouble previously in the early portions of my 20s because there was a lot i just did not understand about myself and i spent more time focusing on why i couldn't fit into that cookie cutter picture when in reality i am the blueprint babe i'm the blueprint for a lot of women i am the blueprint so and i've i've heard it from a lot of men it's not they don't come right out and tell you you're the blueprint but they will drop you subtle hints like wow you do this and you you're that and you're this and you're that and at the age of 28 i have finally understand or i finally understood now that i am all that in a bag of sour cream and onion potato chips babe all that all of that <laughs> So knowing that I decided that I'm going to date, but I'm going to casually date and I'm going to take my time. I'm going to, I'm going to move when I want to move. And if you want to move at my pace, cool. If not, then also cool. I'm still going to do me and cool. Cool. <laughs> um, right now I'm more focused on like the things that I want to do and I don't really want to fit into someone else's life. I want our lives to fit into each other and make one beautiful picture, so to speak. Okay. Oh my. <laughs> so recently I've been in my interior decoration bag, okay? Now, for those of you who don't know, I moved in here um, in my new place. I moved in here around October, November of last year, and I've been traveling like consistently, like nonstop. I just recently got the opportunity to sit down somewhere and actually interior decorate. I started with my daughter's room. There's a few things that I want to do with her room, but I started with her room and then I worked my way to the living room. I haven't really upgraded or done anything with my room and it's just now getting to the point since I pretty much kind of finished the majority of my daughter's room. It's getting to the point where I'm filling up the living room and I'm starting to spill into my room. I.e. I ordered my bed and my new bed is coming. So I'm excited but I've been like y'all I don't know why i ever thought that interior decorating would be a breeze i was like this this gonna be a breeze maybe because in the past i've always received furniture like my family would send me furniture my mom she would just randomly bring things home and then like whenever i got my place or whatever the case may be she'd be like oh take this with you i don't know why i thought it would be a breeze it is not a breeze it is not it is a very difficult task so um most importantly rugs why do rugs cost so much why they cost that much just for dirt to get on it i'm so confused like re have they always cost this much i get that inflation happens but i feel like rugs didn't cost this much and then when we became adults, all of a sudden, they like, oh, you want a rug? How much you got? How much you got? And I'll let you know if I can, if I can help you out. And I'm like, bro, I just want a rug. Like, 
not just any old rug. Obviously, I have an aesthetic that I'm trying to attend to. I'm focused mainly on quality um, and less on quantity. I feel like my very first attempt at interior decorating, it wasn't necessarily a fail, but in my eyes, I'm like, this is not what I was looking for. It gave um, cheap. It gave college student my first apartment on my own. And it wasn't my first apartment on my own. It was my first apartment on my own in a while, but I just did not like the vibe. The vibes were not vibing. And I started to understand why it is so important for you to create the atmosphere that will, so to speak, be your palace of peace, your 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 humble abode of honor and your you know your dream life because it's important it is extremely important that you create the life of your dreams um and that you focus on you know the things that mean the most to you so not following an aesthetic that you see online but more so following something that is true to you are these both cappuccino oh cool 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 and that's what i'm finally doing now i'm excited honestly everything is coming together i have ordered a few pieces and now i'm about to turn up the heat i'm finna turn it up but as things are becoming i am looking back on my journey i'm doing a lot of reflecting of who i was and who i'm becoming and i'm seeing how god has literally shifted everything in my in my life everything that i wrote down in my journal every single thing y'all that i literally dreamed of in my old apartment is coming true now so it's i don't know it's kind of surreal i don't know why i always like after i get like one one big major win i always just assume that god is like okay you're good for a while and he'd be like no i got more for you <laughs> I got more. I got more. I'm, I'm gonna hit everything on that list. I'm gonna hit everything on that list. Do you hear me? Not only did I hear your prayers, but I saw the list. And I'm gonna make sure I hit it all. I'm gonna make sure you get it all. And I'm thankful. I'm grateful because, like, where I am now, <laughs> 18 year old me would be gagging. Do you hear me? She'd be gagging. <laughs> gagging like oh my god i knew it i knew it not only that six year old me would be like i knew we would be living on the west coast just like living our best life <laughs> not yet girl not yet we on our way though we on our way we we we, we take we take we taking the fast express train straight to the top three to the top Work has been really kicking my butt lately. I'll say that. I don't want to say kicking my butt, but it's been super challenging. And one thing about life's challenges is they're never going to stop. And I'm understanding like how to appreciate the challenges instead of whining through it. I'm more so appreciating that these challenges are coming my way because I'm manifesting the person that I'm supposed to be and I'm walking firmly deeply and i literally told the universe like this is who i am and the universe was like are you know so if you are this person then you need to be prepared for these for this kind of challenge this kind of challenge this kind of challenge so instead of like folding i've been really stepping up to the plate and just swallowing my pride and just saying you know what you gotta stop and think like if god saw you fit for the challenge, then obviously you are who you've been proclaiming that you are. And he's trying to show you like, look, I've been waiting on you at the door. Get your ish together. I know she looks a little crazy up top, but stick with me. If you watched my last video, I tried one technique that I saw Jackie, Ina, and Nima Tang try. I'm still not too certain about how I feel about it, but I'm gonna keep trying it and keep playing around with it. Um, just because 
I want to give it a real shot. Like, I don't want to just nix it just right off the bat. Like, I want to try it, keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. And if after a month of trying, I feel like, you know, it's just not me, then I will give up on it. But for now, we're going to try it out to see how she works. Now, in the last video, things were so unbalanced. <laughs> And that's okay. That was real life, like how like things go for me sometimes. Some things are gonna be unbalanced. Some things are gonna be kind of crazy. Honestly, it's at the point in my life, I think Kale Lowry said it best when she said, it's at the point where I wouldn't even be able to function without the chaos. Like the chaos is a part of my life. Granted, I have peace, but it's my level of peace. And it may seem chaotic to some people. That's fine but it's my level of peace. Anyways, the brows are, they're, they're getting there. They're, they're getting there. They're browing. We just have to connect a few places. Cause it's gotta be like, it wasn't as like, okay, hold on. Hold on. It's a work in progress. We'll get there. I'm okay. We've got the outline. We're gonna move forward and we're gonna, we're, 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 yeah, we're gonna move forward. All right, so moving forward. This one's gonna be a short video if you haven't noticed. I'm just getting ready for the pool, guys. It's gonna be cute. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a cute little everyday look. So moving forward, I have decided that your problem is your problem that has nothing to do with me. And that's a part of the boundary setting that we spoke of earlier. Um, a lot of people will, like if you are one of those like respected members of your tribe, a lot of people will like lean on you for like mental and emotional advice and like other things. And I was just talking to my mom about this, about some a few things that are going on behind the scenes. And I'll pretty much just let her know, like, girl, their problem is their problem. That has nothing to do with me. Not only am I in my selfish era, I am in my loving myself in all the best ways possible. So I'm enforcing those boundaries. And I realized in the past, I would say like, oh no, I'm putting out a boundary, I'm putting out a boundary. But then when it actually came time to like really practice it, I would literally like fold because my heart wouldn't let me. But now I'm like, Love you, baby. I love you so much, but that's got nothing to do with me. Sometimes you'll be in a, a situation where you literally cannot control your circumstances, such as being in a financial debacle, being in a place or an area where you just have no control over the circumstances. Be that as it may, every day you should be literally actively working to get out of that certain situation. I know some people that are literally, instead of actively working towards getting out of that situation, they'll just keep trying to like, just whine about it. And like, that it's just not my thing, it's not my vibe, I'm not there. It makes me so uncomfortable nowadays, especially when I know the person and I know like, what you do on a daily day-to-day ba -day basis and I and I see you online like doing all this crazy stuff and it's just not me babe like don't dump your 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 like life's problems out of my on my doorstep I have enough to deal with I have enough to deal with I swear like no thanks overall life's really been life in and I wouldn't say that she's a 10 out of 10 I would give her like an 8 out of 10 could be better, there's always room for improvement. Hold on. Could be better. Could be better. But we're grateful for where we are in this chapter. Sorry, there's a mirror behind you and I'm just trying to get to a girl. Just trying to get to it.
Speaking of consistently working hard to get to like new goals and like progress out of your situation, for example, I would cry and boo-boo and whine about how no one was watching my content and like I felt like I was pretending to or cosplaying um, cosplaying an influencer and now like there's actual people that like if I don't post they're like asking my family members and like the closest people to me like hey is she okay that is a blessing enough and then there are others that remember things about me that I myself have forgotten and I'm like y'all I'm, I'm a real life content creator in this mug the numbers don't matter babe the content and the quality of the content not just the quality of the content but the co quality of the followers that you have is important because those are your ride or dies i, I love y'all let me just tell you okay i get more engagement on the channels where i have less followers um specifically because like it's more personal they actually take the time to get to know me and they look for me they look for my personality they look for my vibe and the vibes are vibing over here <laughs> the vibes are always vibing and i feel like ultimately as long as i am consistently putting out my content then i will always feel like a content creator there's no one on this earth that'll that literally will convince me that i'm not a content creator just by the significance of the number of followers that i have i recently posted a youtube video and you guys can go back through my videos and look through the comments but i recently had a i can't remember if it was a travel vlog or what but I recently had one of my viewers comment on my vid my video that she looks forward to when I post. And I'm thinking to myself, I only have 16 subscribers. Like, how do you even know when I post? But then I thought to myself, she must be one of the 16. So obviously I checked. And I did see that she is one of the 16. And then I went through the videos and I was like, oh, she genuinely likes me as a creator. And I think that she just genuinely likes my content. That one follower let's be real i love all 16 of my followers but just letting me know like hey like i love that you're in the space i love your content i love like which direction you're heading i follow you on more than one platform like just letting me know like how my content is affecting you it definitely i don't just want to say it was an ego stroke girl like it wasn't just an e like hey girl love you i want to just say that it was just an ego stroke because it wasn't it really touched my heart and it really helped me regain that level of confidence that i had when i first started because i feel like when i first started i hit the ground running like like running i hit the ground like here i am i don't care what you're saying like you're gonna have to just accept me for who i am i hit that ground girl i hit that ground running and i, I was like i don't care like i'm gonna make my 500 subscriber at the time it was a thousand because they recently just changed it but i was saying out loud like you know just manifesting i'm gonna hit my 500 subscriber goal and there's nothing that anyone can do about it and i still feel that way however i'm no longer obsessing over it because it's like my my 16 followers y'all my girls my girls okay so i'm not tripping and at the same time i'm ready to like start meeting new people and creating new experiences this being one of them so you have to start by being appreciative for where you are and that's why i was like oh tartar sauce that's why i was pretty much feeling like i am shifting my focus and creative direction to more quality and more focusing on being more of myself, the people will come. I know they will because everywhere I go, everyone will always supposed to be, even though I don't, I hate to say that because that's not nice, but I don't really like a lot of people, um, mainly because a lot of people don't have really good intentions and they don't, they're not really around me for the right reasons. And I am one of those people that is extremely sensitive to my surroundings. So I can feel your intentions before you even, before I can see you, I can feel you coming. And for me, I'm like, mm, do I really want to be around this person? Yay, nay. It's more, more than likely nay because I feel like a lot of people just don't understand me. 
or they think that like my energy is like fake like I would get like a lot of people questioning if like this is really my personality am I always this energized am I always this happy <sighs> people just like they literally see you like vibing in your own atmosphere and they're like let me test the waters like let me see if she's like a bot or not let me see if like this is really her and that is just like so weird it's like oh it's like such a drag to your mood it's a downer and honestly very telling of a lot of your mental health fix it fix that and who wants to be surrounded by debbie downers you know not me not me babe that's who i don't know who but i know who it's not <laughs> um okay what time it's, it's only four something so this one is it going down for another four hours but here in arizona you gotta go to the pool after 12 o'clock like well after 12 o'clock like around three four five o'clock because that's when the heat starts to kind of like cool off and it's not as hot so i'm actually using elf 16 hour camo concealer angel veil by or nyx Angel Veil uh, Skin Perfecting Primer. This is my favorite primer. It's in comparison to the Tatcha Primer, the Silk Canvas Base Primer. Um, it's basically like the same thing, but like <laughs> not. But same concept, I wanna say that. Um, What else? Oh, and you guys already saw my NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop in the Shea Cappuccino. But yeah, um, that's pretty much what's been going on lately i've been appreciative of the followers that i do have i've been working hard at growing oh fitness workout channel is coming in august and late august after my birthday i'm excited i cannot wait to get back on my fitness train like i haven't been as consistent just because i've been using the summertime i only get about two months of summer um, because my daughter only gets two months off so I have to pretty much focus on her her the majority of the summer and I've been taking that time to really just like chill and honestly if you're someone who like me someone like me that exercises all year round it's important to take as many breaks as you can and it was a consistent I want to say six week break so it's going to be a little challenging and I do have to start filming for that next week I am nervous, but I'm here for the challenge. I'm up for it. I'm always here for a good challenge. I'm up for the challenge. We cannot, we cannot grow if we don't push ourselves to be better. And I'm grateful that Amazon wants me to take my videos there. There are a series of three minute videos where you get to interact with me, but you also get to use some of the products that I've ordered off of Amazon. In addition to learning some new ways of exercising, learning some new facts about your body and about how we can achieve the look of our dreams, I made it apparent to everyone on my channels before I graduate, I am going to be getting the body of my dreams, okay? And I'm not buying it. I'm not talking coin. I'm talking, I'm going to work hard for it the long way. And I am a good 80% there. The tum-tums and the back and the booty and the arms, we're still there. But I'm happy to report, I no longer have an oatmeal cream pie uh, tummy. So there's that. <laughs> we're making great progress. Ooh, yay! So, this was the last topic or one of the last topics or updates that I am choosing to speak about today because like I said, this is going to be a real short video, y'all. I got to go get my booty in the pool, okay? So, I'm using the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Mattifying Powder. This is one of my favorite powders only because it comes in like my real skin shade um, and it matches with like my skin tone my face and parts of my chest is always lighter than the remainder of my body um for whatever reason i'm not sure but let's get into it so i know that i have been talking about dating right and this seems a little bit all over the place this chit chat today but girl that's the point of us like being multi like functional multi-dimensional like we're just like that you know you're just gonna have to stick with me, okay? Um, 
I have a crush. <laughs> and that's the beauty of being an adult with dating. I feel like a lot of the times we do talk about like the downside to dating and like there's like still a huge gender war going on right now. Um, I've unsubscribed from the gender war. I just like to like troll nowadays. Like sometimes I'll troll. Like I'll just, <laughs> just to like see like how worked up men get. They get so worked up. People are so uptight about the trail. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, I feel like if we are going to talk about dating, we need to talk about everything about dating. And we can also talk about the benefits that you feel like, you know, dating as an adult. I feel like we rarely ever talk about the benefits of dating once you get to the other side of your 20s, because a lot of the times in our early 20s, like because we come from a generation, I'm a zillennial, I'm 28. I'm half millennial, half Gen Z. I was born in 94, so that lets you know. Um, I grew up on Lizzie McGuire. <laughs> With that being said, um, one of the perks of being a zillennial dating is recognizing like when we were younger, we were basically taught that you, when you date, you should only like a lot of us were taught that when you date, you should, you know, take your time with dating, find the right partner, and the right partner is exactly where I went wrong. I would always date, just because I am a relationship kind of girl, I would always date often only one person at a time. And I, I thought that that was the way that you're supposed to date. But it turns out, <laughs> it turns out you're supposed to date multiple people at once and it's not something new that i found out but i'm saying like a lot of times some men will try to convince you like or even some women like some people will try to convince you like if you date multiple people at one time like that's that's like no you out here for the wrong reasons and when in reality like you're supposed to be the prize so with that being said if you're playing a not playing a game dating isn't like playing a game um, dating is definitely something you should take seriously, which is why I'm letting you know, like as a woman, you should take yourself seriously enough to say, I need multiple options in front of me in order to choose. I will let you know when I choose. And let's just say, since choosing myself, I'm being very picky. I'm being very picky with the partner that I choose. A lot of the times, the the men that like I'll start, I find like I'll start dating, and like they think that they got it in the bag, and I'm like, it's just a vibe, babe. I just, I made you feel like you were special. <laughs> um, until they ask, like, are there other people involved? And I'm like, yeah, actually, there are. Now, I don't offer this information up, but once they ask, I do make it a point to be honest. And I will say it's a pretty mixed bin of like responses. Um, be that as it may, I'm still sticking to my boundary. Um, but I have a crush, guys. I have a crush. And I don't really know how to feel about it. But it's been so long since I've had a crush. Like a real crush, not like a crush that I knew wasn't really gonna go anywhere um, because he was unavailable. Cause I tend to do that. I just wanna do right by myself in all the best way possible. So I should probably stop leading people on to believe that. <laughs> that I'm actually, it's not funny. It's really not funny, okay? It's not funny. But I do have the power to create whatever reality that I want. So sometimes I would use that power to create a reality for that person just so that they could feel like I was somewhat obsessed with them. When in reality, I knew that there was an expiration date and I just wanted to see how far it would go. That's bad. There's room for improvement. So that version of me is dead and gone. And I am finally ready to take it slow. I'm gonna take, take my time. 
I'm ready to take it slow and just see what the universe has for me now. Is that playing the field? Maybe. Um, but I feel like I have the right to do that and I've earned that right since it is my life. Um, and and it, like I said, at the end of the day, it's my life. I'm the one who has to live it. So why not take your time? I don't know. That's just my, that's just the way I look at it. Why not take your time? I'm not saying play around. That's, I'm saying the exact opposite of, of that. That's literally the opposite of what I'm saying. What I am saying though is don't put all your eggs in one basket because you never know how that may turn out. So for me to have a crush right now and to be also casually dating someone else, um, which he knows, he's he's aware. Um, I'm not creating competition. I'm literally just seeing what's out there. And I hope he's also doing the same thing because I would want my person to be sure. And I think that's where a lot of us tend to go wrong. We take such a fence from like <laughs> finding out there's someone else in the picture and I get it to a certain extent but we're not married so like you should be able to have as much fun as you want to have I'm not saying anything like obviously physical like you shouldn't be out here just you shouldn't be out here just out here okay don't be just out here out here but you should definitely have fun. Meet as many people as you can. <laughs> it's not like my dryer. Meet as many people as you can and have as much fun as you can because even if it doesn't work out with certain people, you never know what kind of lifelong friends you can have and you never know what kind of like amazing people you can meet along the way. So that's how I've been approaching dating where like, I feel like I've always been that way though. Like in a way, I've always been like, even if we don't work out, like let's just be friends. Like let's just be cool. And that has never worked out for me. But <laughs> I don't know why I'm still so optimistic about this because men do not handle rejection very well. Like at all. And there's a couple people that I dated in the past that I'm like, let's be friends. And then like when, when we start to like be cool or whatever, they like start going down that road where like, we should try again. I'm like, we should not. We've already tried this, remember? Set your boundary and I need you to meet it. I'll just be chit chatting it up. I'm a chatty Kathy, so if you do not like to talk, girl, this is not the channel for you. <laughs> Go to a channel where the vibes are a little less chatty and a little more aesthetically pleasing for you. Now, one of the things that I did notice about me in my last makeup video was it was a bit rushed because I was taking so long talking and having such a great time, which is all in well. However, I have deadlines to meet. I also have homework to do. I have dinner to eat. I have, a, I have to spend some time with my daughter. There's a lot that has to go on. So we're gonna speed this up. I love the look already. I'm just gonna pop in a little bit of like, just, just like a little. Anyways. So he is very cool. I want to say we were kind of like, he's he's someone that I knew. I've known him for a while. Um, can't really give too much details because people be nosy. And like, even though I didn't have that many viewers on my last video, which is totally fine. Um, I feel like that'll be the one time that people actually like watch and they'll be like, I know who she's talking about. No, you don't. No, you don't. Mind your business, no you don't. I'm like a vault. You only know what I tell you. What I want you to know. That's all you know. Cause even when people be swearing they right, they be dead wrong. And I just be like, y'all don't get enough of this. Y'all don't get enough of this. <laughs> y'all don't get enough of like being wrong. Cause wow, I would've definitely given up by now. I probably wouldn't have even gotten that invested. I will tell you when I am comfortable. This is not working out for me. So we're gonna switch out our blender. 
all of my new blenders are like dirty right now so y'all gonna have to excuse me like i said it's a cool day so we're not tripping we're not we're not even tripping but we are running close on time and i am making good timing too i'll tell you that <laughs> i'll tell you that <laughs> and i am thankful for that because that's a whole new goal that i just crushed and one of the things that I noticed that like sometimes like I, I could use some improvement with buffering and like blending. So we're going to make sure that everything is like blended out and that it's not because like in person in front of a mirror, it doesn't look bad. But like when I see on camera sometimes, I'm like, girl, did you even try? Did you even try? <laughs> so <laughs> I'm we're gonna blend we're gonna keep blending we're gonna keep blending because i can't let y'all catch me slipping okay because i, I kind of got caught slipping last time yeah that's it's kind of hard with like the sun shifting okay so what we're gonna do is now we're gonna not try new things when it comes to our bronzer tone because that was very olivey and I could not see that in front of me. I could only see that on the camera. So this one is the cool tone. It's like a jewel cool tone and it's a cool tone. It is a cool tone bronzer. I got this one from Makeup Revolution. It is the first wet bronzer that is my actual color. So I'm gonna stick to what I know until I get my LIS one, cream bronzer, and my Fenty one. I wanna try milk, but I'm scared. Girl, I'm terrified. I see people using it, but I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't know, I just don't know. Now the thing with this is you don't want to you don't want to try and blend with this brush just because it's like very like you know what I'm saying like it's like a thinner kind of thing so it's going to like the product is just going to sit in one spot whereas if you buff it out afterwards and then go back with your sponge then it'll really blend it in so it's like a three step process for me just cause I get like, I don't know. Maybe I just, I don't know. Maybe I need new context or something. But when I went back and looked at it on the video, I was like, girl. girl. So this liner is all over the place. I'm not sure what to do, but we will fix it later. We ain't got time for this. We do not have time for any of this. So we will fix it later. Unfortunately, my battery on my camera, it went and that was the last battery. So we're going back in with my phone, but that's okay y'all, we just adjust. Okay, so finishing up the lip look. Oh, she's cute. Yeah, I'll say it looks a lot better this time around. Um, what I was saying is um, once I learned the real history behind why black women interline their lips, I just, no thanks. I never liked it to begin with. Um, it just didn't, it wasn't the gag everyone says it is and it didn't, for me, it just did not hit. And it did, like once you hear it, the first time, like once you hear someone tell you the history behind it, it was like, that makes so much sense. Because like, why would you wanna like skip a whole section of your lips? Like, you know that's still your, the ridge is still a part of your lips, right? Um, but to each his own, this is what I'm doing. There was a time where I did not appreciate 
the size of my lips. And now I do. Because there's only one particular group of people on this earth that has these lips. So, <laughs> it's kind of like a secret club, being a part of a secret club. Um, and we pretty much just like walk around with like our membership pin on us, except we didn't pin it on us. It was like, you know, I was just born with it, you know? So, <laughs> I think it's kind of dope. All right, so now that we have that brown in there, this is a tricky part because I hate when it mixes, but it's cool. This one's stone. Stone has not been hitting. I think I've just been wearing stone too much. So it just not has been hitting the way I would like for it to slap. Like it just, it's not slapping, slapping. It's just been like, okay, what else you got? So we're gonna, oh, silk. Silk has never let me down. My, 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 my. <laughs> silk has never let your girl down, okay? So we're gonna do silk. And that's all meeting in my bedroom, okay? In my bedroom. All right, ladies. Look at that. And then I use silk as a base, but then, hold on, hold on. Cause you can't forget this girl, the queen bee. Um, this one is the butter gloss and fortune cookie. Um, I had this like before it was like a, a fat for everybody to have. I just never use it because I didn't know how to use it correctly. Like, if I'm being 100% real, I just didn't know how to use it. And I can tell that I've had her for a while. Cause sometimes they separate. Yeah, I'm probably gonna update her. But for today's look, it did the trick. I look good. And then just cause like, I don't really, I don't feel like I be doing it correctly sometimes. I have stuff down here. Um, I'm just gonna go right back in and drag some of that brown out. Just a little. That's my favorite part. No fizzy. <laughs> okay, and that's when that's what I'm talking about. Okay. So there's a look. Um, I'm just gonna tidy up a couple things. I like to really go back in with a black liner and trace around the trim of my eyebrows just to make sure like anything that is out of place can be. So the black helps you like with the sharpness. I'll say that. But you can't press it too hard, okay? Like don't be extra. Light, you wanna do light strokes. Don't forget that you can build. You can, you can build. Do you see how that shifted? Oh. And we love a girl that's versatile. It's not exactly giving harshness, but it's giving like, she's there. I'm here. I've arrived and I'm not going anywhere. Anyways, that's pretty much it on like my life updates and everything that's been pretty much going on in my life. I've had like a lot of time to like sit and fester and I don't wanna say fester, but like think and meditate on what I want my creative direction shift to look like and what I want my life to look like in the near foreseeable future, as far as like dating, as far as like 
shifting my creative direction with my career life. I'm just going to do with this fully and just like really, really, because I love a full brow. You hear what I'm saying? I don't want boxy, but I want full. We want, we want fullness. Yes, and we love full brow, beloved. We love a full brow. There's like that one section right there that just doesn't want to lift. Like I said, I have 4C brow, so. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So this is pretty much the look for the day. It's time for me to go to the pool and slay. I've had a great time with you guys today, and I will see you next Wednesday. <laughs> ah, that was, I listen, when I, when you, if you like that, just wait till I get it. Your little dream, my sister. I, I turn it to big milk, okay? I'm talking flavors. <laughs> with that being said, I will see you guys next week. Bye. I'll see you too.